Hey guys, this is your Stocks for Beer watch list for July 31st. I want to go over a couple stocks that are setting up. Um, I will touch base on ICNB, give you a little update on that guy, but um, these are my top watches for right now. Zanga, told you about this one the other day. It looks like it might be getting ready to break down below 3 here. I'm definitely going to be looking to short this thing or even play the, the puts on that. DNDN had uh, pretty bad news after hours. It's going to gap down, looks like, to less than $5. So I'll be looking to, for this thing to get a washout and then hopefully play the bounce if there's enough volume and it looks like it's going to come back. Uh, definitely going to be watching this thing pretty heavily in chat. I'll be covering it quite a bit tomorrow. ADY, let's look at this daily chart here. It's finally breaking that seven spot I mentioned a few days ago. I mentioned this um, here. It popped once, but now it finally closed above that seven mark. I think this goes higher. TSYS, I like this for a break over 150. Um, if we can get through this 150 area, it probably goes higher. MITK. Setting up for a range break here um, from this last little pop last week, about 375-ish. So if we can get over 375, I would not be surprised to see it hit 4. And there's definitely quite a bit of resistance there at 4 from the last runs. Um, so 375 and 4 will be the two areas of interest, and then if it can break those, it probably goes higher. AAV, um, solid move today. Let's look at the year here. So, if it can bust through four tomorrow, it has a good chance to continue. Basically, see as a follow through to see if it can get maybe 440 in the next couple days for 10% or so. OWW needs over 450. 50 on the daily chart for the breakout. Um, looks like it's going to see 52 week highs come in here in the next couple days. I like that chart setup. It's definitely been making um, higher lows here ever since February. So, SUTI mentioned this thing in chat late day today, uh, right on this one and a half cent breakout. Before it ran to three, um, basically looking for that three break tomorrow to push it back towards four. We'll see if it gets there. Uh, this is being promoted pretty heavily right now by some some smaller groups, but nonetheless, it's it got a little volume today. So uh, if it can hold up and then get through three, I'd be interested in playing it. Otherwise, it'll probably fall off. So that's the only really only only potential for me is if it can get back through three. Or if we get a major washout, if it fades slowly all day, then forget about it. But if it just if it gets a quick tank, then you might be able to play a quick bounce. So those are the two options there. <coughs> and finally, ICNB. Watch for this nine it's breakout. Um, it's up huge the past week. I mean, when we first mentioned this thing in chat on this huge six million dollar six million. Volume day. Um, it's up over, well over, you know, fifteen hundred percent. Um, so key here for me, this trend is still actually fairly intact for what it has been doing. Um, it tried to break down once, and then they bought it right back up. Nonetheless. Uh, watch this 9 area f tomorrow morning. If we can get through 9, it might see 10 or 11. If this trend breaks down, if you're still in from any time in here, I'd be definitely uh, looking at locked in profits. So There you guys go. A few stocks to watch tomorrow. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments section or uh, ask me in chat. I'll see you guys there tomorrow.